Period. What's up, everybody? It's Brandon, and we're back on a Zoom call. Now, I already did this. I already kind of touched on briefly. Well, briefly for me, I guess, is 15 minutes. But I did, didn't dive into it as much as I probably would have liked because I had a bunch of shit to do that day. But this is kind of like an addendum because now Tyler and Rodney and even Josh, but I think he's only watched the first episode, have taken it upon themselves to watch a watch, 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 also watch Yellow Jackets. So, again, this is an addendum. Let's have some other thoughts. I am curious. I've not heard a single thing they really think about the show other than, like, little things where they kind of react to, like, this happened, what, that happened, what? But I don't really have their overall consensus and all that. So I'm kind of curious because Rodney immediately was like, dude, we need to talk. And I was like, I called him, and he's like, not now. I'm doing my kid's homework. <laughs> <laughs> but later <laughs> oh you're gonna fail your kid <laughs> no nah, i'm right. teaching them the right way yeah. yeah so he was in some, some shit okay well since, here? well since josh isn't here i'll just start a wildly talented oh, high school you know what? i just like read the oh, i was like for real? You, you <laughs> like, got it. it came out in 2021 <laughs> uh the budget you want to take again no i'm just kidding but i i wasn't gonna watch it man because uh, on Monday Mayhem, I was like, what should I watch? And I saw Rodney got big on his voodoo. I was like, I want to watch big. Mm -hmm. Or I want to watch uh, the new Ghostbusters. But then I just forced myself to watch the episode, first episode of Yellow Jackets. And you, you do kind of get hooked on to it. There's a lot yeah. to break down. There's a lot to go over in the, the first season of Yellow Jackets. A lot and of I won't do it, but we, there's uh, like three things we'll talk about. Now, uh, yeah, because we don't really have anything wrote out. This is just kind of like we were gonna fucking talk about it. So it's like, why not record it? Like if we're doing this Zoom thing, like why the fuck not? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, Rodney, are you are you happy you watch this? I mean, were you happy you watch this, Tyler? Is that what you're saying? Or are you just like, fuck? What a, or do we yeah, just? Yeah. just dive into just the thick of everything well, what happened with this do we have answers for this brandon do you know what this is you're like fucking uh i saw a meme that's another meme i saw like charlie kelly where he's like drawing everything out he's yeah. like there is no pepe silva it's like anytime you dive into yellow jackets talk that's what it turns into um obviously this will be a spoiler discussion if y'all didn't know um yeah so rodney you what the fuck dude what you said we need well, first of all, Rotten Tomatoes is holding this bad boy at 100% critic and 79% audience. Yeah. Which is like, it's kind of almost like two separated of scores. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, this first season. Uh, it, it's weird because it's like they filmed it knowing for a fact that this show was going to do good. So they were like, fuck it, we can just have as many questions as possible in this mm -hmm. without answers because we know we're going to get a second season. It's a good thing they got renewed because if not, then this one sucked. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be very so, frustrating. But uh, no, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the characters in it. There was a few that I really disliked, <clears throat> a few that grew on me and a few that stayed good on me for the whole, whole season. So, Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, this this show was something like I was hooked from the jump, really. Like I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I could use some more of this. I don't know what's going on, but I definitely want more of this. I'm like, God, they just keep adding more questions and I have no answers. Fuck. <laughs> like that is like the thing I said in my review, like this show had a weird ability to like when you wanted something new. They deflected that craving by adding or not something new when you wanted an answer to something. They, they deflected that craving by adding in another something new. So it's like you were like, I might find an answer You're like, oh, but what does this mean? It like would distract you with that. And then you'd walk away from this and then you'd start to like get tired of this. You're like, wait a minute. What was this about? And now I got two things. And then they'd be like, oh, but what about over here? And you're like, shit, what does that mean? And then they would just pull you away from everything and distract you enough. But by the end of the show, you're like, I have a million questions and I only have like four answered and I need to know what the fuck is happening. Like, and it would drive you crazy, which is like a good way to distract you 
from wanting answers, but at the same time, you've got a lot to deliver on going forward now. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can tie all of these things together. They're also a very frightening territory because I see a lot of Lost in this show. Mm. And Lost had an amazing first season. And then it was dump after that. So can Yellow Jackets keep up? No, like, can they keep up the good shit? No, Lost got terrible. But I disagree. <laughs> well, they... Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, with Yellow Jackets, like, to have as good of a first season as they did, and what the material is also is, like, very, very easy material to get boring. Very easy material to get, like, predictable. But they're doing it in a way, like you said, Brandon, is, like, anytime that you want an answer – and that's, it's not always a new thing that they kind of trick your mind with. Sometimes they'll d- dive back into another character and you're, oh, okay, so we're going to find this out about this character. And you do, and you forget all about the last thing that you were about to get an answer for, so you thought. Yeah. So I think the way they did that, <clears throat> tricky, but I liked it because it kept me on my toes all the time. Sure. Like Brandon said, he went back and watched it a second time, and this was mine and Rodney's first viewing of it. And Brandon said, you know, you catch so much shit the second time that you didn't catch the first time. So I was, like, so focused trying to, like, every little thing, like, she's left-handed. That means that she, Mm -hmm. I don't know. And she did this, and that's she had dirty nails. That means she's, like, and I was, like, oh, okay. And then that came up later, but uh i didn't really dislike any character to like no to that much extent i wasn't like dude fuck that guy fuck that girl i do not like them at all i was just i was cool with everyone then some other ones i had had my favorites Mm -hmm. uh yeah man Uh, and then like lost on lost you immediately know they're on an island on this, in this one, I you don't know for sure. Like, well, are they on an island or are they in the wilderness somewhere? Yeah, they're in we the haven't wilderness. haven't definitively yeah. answered that yet. Yeah. I'm still holding out on that answer. And the cannibal thing, I didn't see any yet. See, no. that's, that's one of the issues I will be bringing up later on in the show is like some of the unanswered things were almost like, come on now, at least give us something of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they... It's every episode is a huge hint to like, oh, what they did was fucked. Yeah. But, but we don't get to see any of that. We get like hints of it, but nothing to where I'm satisfied. You know, now I got to wait a whole nother fucking probably year yeah. to maybe only see one thing that happened out of the, because mm-hmm. what they say, it's 19 months. Timeline, they, they need to do better timeline wise because I didn't know how long they'd been out there. So some of the shit that was happening, I was like, is this real within this amount of time? But then I'm like, well, what time are we in? Because she's saying weeks, and then this person is saying, they, I don't know where. I think, I think judging by uh, Shauna being pregnant and, like, seeing her belly showing in the last episode, yeah. probably like a few months. Yeah. Yeah, I'd but from so. where, though? Like, so they crashed, and then, well, no, I guess – if she's pregnant from before the yeah nine months, it's probably like has, late, so it hasn't even been like late uh, summer. It was probably like late summer for yeah. uh, them playing soccer, and then like early winter. Soccer season start. Yeah, dude, that's all you gotta look up. I've done that. Yeah, Jesus, it. Rodney. I'm See, sorry. I don't know anything about that kind of shit. No, no, <laughs> no. But I mean, my my thoughts are probably late summer, and then even though we get like snow and shit. Like, despite even, like, where they are, but, like, also, like, back in 96, you got snow when you were supposed to get snow. And they were talking the whole time. It's like, how are we going to live in the fucking winter? Like, what are we going to fucking do? So I'm assuming, you know, soccer, like, summertime in the beginning stages of winter is, like, where we left off, where we saw, like, that first snow and they knew it was coming and it was getting colder. I think it crashed in the in the fall and then so it's probably like four months if it was like yeah. 19 months that's four eight 12 16 you could do like five seasons out of that or some Is that how long they said they were on that or no i'm saying like months yeah that, that's what rodney said i actually don't remember that but 
Uh, That's what they kept saying. There's like, you can survive 19 months out there and mm -hmm. 19 months this. And yeah, it sounded familiar, right? Unless I was making that up in my head, but I mean, I believe it. But yeah, it's dude, the uh, the whole figuring out shit though isn't necessarily even you watching it and making sure you're locked in. There's like stuff you don't realize is important at the time, but when you watch it, like for instance, when I watched the first episode again, I was on episode eight. So I hadn't even finished it yet because I started it with my wife. And when I went back and watched the first episode, when I first watched it, there's nothing I could have looked for to know, oh man, that means something. That means something because I had nothing to base it off of. But since I was eight episodes deep and I saw that something in episode one, I was like, oh shit, I saw that later. I know what that means now. Now I have something to reference that to. That happened, and this is just a made-up number. It might be right, but like that happened in episode six. And now that I've seen episode six and I'm watching episode one, I feel like I can piece together a spoiler that's going to happen later on because of what I'm seeing now. And now that I'm able to connect them and I know that exists, if that makes sense. So like that is like what's really interesting about rewatching this. And there was other stuff I did catch too. Where I was just like, oh, shit. That, that right there. What the fuck is going on with that? Why the fuck? I didn't even notice that. Why the, what the hell? Like, holy shit, that's probably a sign of things to come with this. There's just like a bunch of little things that stand out like that. Like even down to like stuff on like shirts and shit, like figuring out who the people are in the beginning. Like something that was crucial, if we're talking spoilers, this, this might fuck with y'all. In the very first episode, there's that person chasing somebody. And they chase them. The pit in, girl. Yeah, pit. If you look on the person that chased them, they're wearing a necklace. I forget what it looks like. It's like a necklace, the like heart. a ring or heart, whatever the fuck it is. I'm picturing like Frodo's ring right now. <laughs> on the plane, later on, that same necklace is given to Jackie. So right. I'm like, when I'm seeing this a second time, I'm like, how the fuck? Like, maybe I just wasn't locked all the way into it yet because it was like the very beginning of the first. Like, I might have still been like, oh, let me go to kitchen get my popcorn while the scene was going on or something whatever was happening but like i didn't recognize that the first time so when she gave that to jackie i was like oh my god jackie is the one who chases that bitch into the pit what the fuck like how did i like so she's going to be like a big part of this actually if she dies it's not going to be in the way i thought and then like episode four or something like that it flipped me on my head again because Jackie gives that necklace back and I'd forgotten all about that. So then I was like, okay, so it is fucking Shauna that like does this. And like little things like that were like throwing me for like a ride, like seeing it a second time. I was like, oh shit, shit. Like there's a lot of stuff that like you could easily miss like the first time, but catch later. And then like other things, like somebody had pointed out in the Yellow Jackets group, like there's a shirt or something that like Van's wearing at one point that says something and it looks very fucking similar to the shirt on one of the people in the beginning when they're having the cannibalistic ritual or whatever it is. So like, that's gotta be fucking Van right there for sure. And if you would have somehow picked up on that, you might've been seen when Van, again, spoiler alert, got eaten and it looked like she was dead. You'd have been like, there's no way because of, it has back to the beginning. If you could piece that together with the shirt, it's the same shirt, unless somebody else wore that for clothing to stay warm or some shit. But there's just like so many things. Fucking Lottie, dude. Like there's one shot that's like perfect of her. Like a lot of people think she is like the antler queen or whatever. There's a shot like before she goes outside that's like perfect of her with like antlers behind her head. Dude, yes, I saw that. And I yeah. was like, dude, it's like, I bet she's that. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's like mounted right behind her and she pauses like perfectly in between it. Like it looks like it's on her head and then she goes outside. Like there's so many like little things like that, that like you can catch first time around for sure. But like you see it a second time and you're like, damn. And then like the theories, that's the thing about the show too. With all this open though, it leaves you to discuss so many things. And like at first I was kind of disappointed in a way, because I was like, man, I wish they would at least done some of the cannibal shit too, which y'all are still riding that high. You haven't had a few days to really process it and kind of let it sit. But I'm also sitting here, I'm like, this is obviously not just supposed to be a two season show. There's, this is meant to go on for a while, the way they're setting this up. Like that's clearly in like their minds when they're making this. And when you're looking at it, they straight up like had a hit on their hands. Like everybody's loving this show. Like it's 
surprising a lot of people, even like people on Showtime, just like we were shocked by the acclaim. We knew it was going to be good, but damn, we did not think it was going to be this good. Like, this is crazy, the show we have on our hands now. So the thing is, they gave us little, but they left us a million things to talk about, which will make it very interesting. And they still did give us like some shocks in there to keep us going, you know, for a decent to good to great season finale. And now we still have so much more to look forward to even if it feels a little bit like, fuck, like, we didn't get that yet. We didn't get that yet. I was there too, but now that a few days have passed, I'm like, man, that's going to make me tuning into season two even more hyped. I'm like, let's go. And I saw a report that like the director, somebody said they promised that, and of course they always say this shit, but they promise that the second season is going to dive more into cannibalism and it's going to get darker. So I'm ready to see what the fuck. Well, I mean, I feel like it has to. Yeah. yeah. With the winter coming and them running out of food. Oh yeah, that bear is gonna last him a while though. Shit, that thing. Which, I know. All right, so, <clears throat> how's it going? He was what? Saying, what are you saying? Like, how are they doing with the bear? Like, yeah, there's something to that. There's some people like a lot of these theories and shit. I've got like I've just kind of came up with, and I've seen other people with similar theories. But that yellow jackets group. So I was saying like, where the fuck's Javi? And there's some people saying like. What if Javi is the bear and that's them like hallucinating in some way? Some crazy shit. But like, it'd be fucked up. They murdered Javi. But there's definitely something to that. That's got to have something to do with like the cult or something. Like Lottie's even like something's coming and all that shit. Like she, there's something somewhere. And she even took that big ass heart, which I'm assuming probably was like maybe even the bear heart at the end and like laid it in the side of that tree stump. So like, Maybe that was on purpose for her to do that. Like, there's definitely the bear. I don't believe that the writers were just like, let's just have this bear sit down. There's a reason why that bear. It, that. Exactly it was, like, it was an I, offering for a sacrifice of some kind. I was like, there's no way she can stab a bear one time and then the bear just dies. Yeah. And it even was basically like, kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It made> it- <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay yeah, sorry it's COVID. COVID. <laughs> COVID. Um, the very ending of the first episode you see teen misty like bring in what you think is a human cannibals and i thought the the like people with the antlers and the people she was giving it to i thought it was just like people that live in that location like a tribe yeah. or, or something like that and so when Laura Lee gets that plane and she's like, I'm going to save everybody. And she takes off in that plane. I was like, this will be hilarious. If you just see spears going up to the plane and then the, <laughs> the plane just bombs down, but they're yeah. just checking it. Like some yeah. like crazy tribe. <laughs> yeah. And then I was even like in a bunch of the scenes when they're out in the woods, just like by themselves having conversations, I was like looking in the background, seeing if you'd see, like another person like peeking yeah, or some around. wrong turn shit yeah but you didn't see it so i'm like okay maybe it is just them out there trying to survive Sweet. <clears throat> did y'all get the 40 minute running out of time thing no i didn't I did. I it, says you, you. it says you have 10 minutes but i think it'll just auto renew at least i hope so or we'll have a video that's really cut short <laughs> but we'll see what happens um, yeah man um well yeah that is definitely i can tell you were kind of leaning that way but like how you were commenting i was like he don't even realize like it's the girl and maybe there is some fucking person in the woods or something um so what what is what what made you really have to talk about this rodney that you're like i've got to talk dude so many questions it's just so many like like lottie Lottie is my favorite character. Lottie freaking die. So, but she, dude, she's so quiet throughout. And you never like, at least for me, I never like, they focus so little on her. It's where I forget about her. Yeah. And I wouldn't think anything of her having to do with anything, like her being a villainous role or anything like that, just because they play her so close to the chest. And I like how they did that. Uh, but Shauna, dude, I can't get. I don't like Shauna. Uh, I don't like her yeah. character. I, the the new I boyfriend love character. Do you like adult Shauna? Are you talking about adult or kid Shauna? Both. 
I like I like Shauna. Shauna and Jackie and Coach. I, I just didn't like any of those characters. So the like, Coach are so useless. <laughs> I liked all of them. I really did. But, uh, Misty, I like how untrustworthy they're making Misty. Yeah, like, I love she, Misty. Misty's amazing. I, I both the uh, younger yeah. and older. Chris, C- Christina Richie, dude. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know that was her. Brandon had to tell me. I was like, oh, that was, yeah, dude, I <laughs> love her, man. She's so good. As a, he plays such a good psycho role. Such a smart, but like, awkward, <laughs> but knows what she's doing. Genius. It's so cool. And what about the fixer? Mm-hmm. Having her on there for so long and then just blatant out of nowhere just misty being like yeah i'm gonna let you go but i'm gonna kill you too at the same time like did she, fuck- did she kill her did she kill her I yeah she, did she, she put that me. syringe shit in her i didn't know if it was like something to knock her out maybe get her arrested for like dui or something or they put that ketamine shit in there or whatever no i think i think she killed her i think no no i i think she like overdosed her with that or some shit but yeah yeah, so thank you. Smart. Yeah, that's another thing I've seen, and I was actually thinking about, but I saw somebody I can't like on some of these. Like, I give credit where I, like I saw it, but I, this one actually was already brewing in my head too. And like, somebody actually posted about it, and I was like, oh shit, yes, somebody else may be thinking this. I'm like, what if like Misty's a serial killer? That'd like, be dope. The way like she's she responsible for the crash. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like after the crash, like, I mean, think about how easy it was for her to like lock one chick up. She's got all this like shit, like syringes and shit. Like it just feels like she's done this type of shit before and they're all affected. Yeah. Like they're all affected in some weird way. And then the one guy, I think it was that posted in the group to take it a step further. It's like, what if that guy, she was like whining and dying and she was actually taking him in there to kill him and like eat him because she still has a taste for like human flesh type shit. And I was like, what the fuck? It wouldn't like, surprise me one bit. Yeah. Like, like, I could see her being, cause she also. It looked like tried- a dungeon she had down there too. Like it just seems like a work area. Like she always has that. She tried to poison the coach, you yeah. know, first. Then she almost poisons everyone else. She takes that reporter, holds her hostage. She can get all these drugs from her work, apparently, and just make some concoction to just. Yeah. And she just knows like, how to dispose of the body at the end of the yeah. movie. Like, she knows every little detail. It's like, anybody see you? Did she, She's got the whole game plan. Like, I definitely could see it being revealed later on that, like, Misty is actually a serial killer, and that's how she's been living her life after the crash, well, which is interesting to think about if it's true. At the very end, uh, this is a big question. You know, uh, Natalie, adult Natalie is about to, you know kill herself and those people break in and take her and they're wearing the symbols and stuff and you're like How, what is this all about it works a lot. i know but you don't know that right then but you're mm-hmm. like how does this make sense it's- and then you find out because that one lady's calling her like yeah it was lottie who bank took account and all that yeah. stuff yeah and that was crazy to end because and that's cool because you know lottie there's an adult lottie out there we just haven't seen yet. yeah and there's there are there's there might be more like van maybe there's an adult van out there yeah or mid-sized van and then i thought like with jackie i was like they had they haven't shown her yet as an adult she's a main character maybe she never left the woods maybe she's still out there Mm-hmm. Like maybe they're just like she's too far gone we're just leaving her out here like we're not bringing her we're not rescuing her if they ever get rescued however that happens but then you yeah. see what happens to jackie and yeah that's a brutal way to go man yeah that's i think i think it was solid because it shows us like what's coming now like yeah. you could be fine one second and then all you got to do is sleep outside one time during that winter and you're done oh, it's like, it's just it's getting real yeah, it was so scary. They were like, it's gonna be, it's gonna start getting so cold that falling asleep, you're gonna, you're just gonna falling asleep will kill you. 
Yeah. yeah. That simple. <laughs> and I felt that scene a lot too, because Shauna, like for her to have like that dream, like where she's like goes outside and she's like, come on, Jackie, this is stupid. And now yeah. you can see like why she has so much regret because they had that huge fight and everybody basically forced her out. And everybody's had those moments. And then like the next day and you're like, God, I feel like a piece of shit. I had too much pride. I've got to fix this up with my best friend. And you always had that opportunity to do that. But Shauna didn't. And she even had that last like thought and dream. Like I need to go get Jackie. And then I know where she woke up in the blink of an eye. Like nothing was fine. And the emotion and the acting in that scene, I thought was really good. Like it was like shit, dude. Like that just happened in the blink of a fucking eye. <laughs> and uh, that also comes to as powerful as that scene was. But that was the meme crossover with that 70s show that cracked me the fuck up. <laughs> it was just like that fucking classic, uh, like literally is a picture of Kelso, like it normally is with the jacket scene. And Jackie's like, I'm dead, Shauna. And he's just like, well, I can't con like, damn, Jackie, I can't control the weather. <laughs> like, I don't it's know why. Perfect. It's that perfect that her name is Jackie. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like that shit is so <laughs> funny, dude. That shit had me rolling for some reason. Like, as well as I literally laughed out loud, like, Spy, like, looked over at me. He was like, you all right? And I'm like, no, nah, dude, I'm good. I'm <laughs> like, and also, you got to think about what is up with Ty? Yeah, I was just about to say that. What that is her whole thing with, like, sleepwalking? The but bad also one, the good one. Yeah. What yeah. Is she, dude, what's going on? I who? guess she's doing, like, voodoo and shit in her basement at night. I don't know, dude. Yeah, she's to win the election. But she don't know. Pretty, she don't know that she's doing it. She's like the she dog. a little smirk at the very end, the very last episode of the very end. She had that smirk on her face. Like, I mean, she might know that she's to? doing that. Like, maybe they're, her eating dirt was like her, like she was fighting off this presence and maybe like it was coming back because she like was able to let it in again because she started freaking out about the election. And then she just kind of embraced it after that and went full on seance with it, with the offering, which was the dog, like, and that, like for her, like, it was like, oh man, yeah, I'm sorry about the dog getting out or whatever she said. And then like, boom, like she's got the dog's head just mounted. And there's also some people talking like, what if it like, wasn't Taisa? What if it was the kid that did that shit? Like that could nah, be it team. would be too but obvious at this you point. You saw that scene where Thais is out by the tree and she's like yeah. eating dirt, and then her phone rings because it's Natalie, and it kind of wakes her up out of that, and that's when she yeah. realizes, like, oh shit, I'm really fucked up. Like y'all need yeah. to get out of the house. She's but in a her, trance. But then her wife finds that you know, dog head and that like ritualistic. Oh my god, fruit. that shit is all the way. So many. I lose my mind. Oh, I wouldn't have crawled through there. No, hell no. There? no. <laughs> uh, Rodney, I'm heading upstairs, bro. I'm nope, sorry. Nope. I thought it was gonna be a bunch of like dead bodies or something, but it was just a dog head. And that's worse than a bunch of 